Hi, I'm James Seamus, and uh, thank you to everybody in Denmark who wants to talk about Carl Theodore Dreyer. I've been given three questions to answer, so I will answer three questions. The first is, what does Dreyer mean to me as a filmmaker today? And all I can really say is I'm really, really, really happy that I've never had the opportunity to actually produce or distribute a film by Carl Dreyer because he probably would have driven me insane. Yeah, that probably would have lost a lot of money. So um, it's just been one of those lucky things that I never got the chance to uh, work with him. In terms of his relevance for audience to this today, I'm happy to say that he's probably as irrelevant to today's film culture as he was to yesterday's. I think one of the great things about Carl Dreyer is his complete and utter lack of relevance to the film industry, to film culture in general, uh, and even to culture in general. He's somebody who managed to create great works of art without ever being the head of a movement, a new wave or a dogma or anything else. He just kind of did it. Um, and that's pretty surprising for uh, an art like cinema that's meant to be collective and meant to be collaborative. Although he was a great collaborator with his, his creative teams and his actors, he was a singular artist and they're pretty rare these days. Even the singular artists in cinema often have to be artists who claim to be speaking in the name of some movement. So that's pretty, pretty great that he's still completely irrelevant. Um, lastly, a favorite moment or a memorable moment uh, watching a, a Carl Dreyer movie. And I, I have to say it was uh, the first time seeing uh, all uh, the word um, in a class at uh, the University of California in Berkeley with a, a great professor. We were reading Siegfried Krakauer, who probably has absolutely nothing to do with Carl Dreyer, at least as little as I can imagine, I actually teach film theory and teach Siegfried Krakauer, and I've never figured out why we were reading Siegfried Krakauer and watching Carl Dreyer at the same time, but somehow it worked. And a bunch of us undergraduates sat down in the Pacific Film Archive to see an obscure Danish movie that nobody had any idea what it was about. And for two hours, we watched a bunch of uh, Danish farmers and tailors arguing about miracles and the existence of God, and for the last six minutes, everybody in the room just bawled their eyes out crying. And it was kind of awesome to see a bunch of uh, hip California undergraduates uh, weeping inconsolably uh, over uh, uh, a bunch of discussions about the existence of God and miracles that when two hours earlier they had absolutely no idea they would ever be interested in. So yeah, those are my answers. I hope they're helpful, and I hope you have fun exploring the rest of the Carl Dreyer page.